Hey guys, welcome back to Sparks and Recreation. In today's video, we're here to announce we've hit 2,000 subscribers. It's only taken three years, but here we are. Let's roll back through some of the footage of the things that we've enjoyed the most. Well, guys, here we are. We've got 2,000 subscribers over the course of the last three years, with something that has snowballed pretty significantly in the last six months or so. We've been getting about five to six subscribers a day. And our views from last year had totaled over 300,000, which I very much appreciate. Unfortunately, less than 1% of our viewers subscribe, which obviously our content isn't that great, apparently, or something. Anyways, we are trying our best. And coming up is another adventure that you guys are going to love. Uh, our most successful thing that we've done on this channel is the Make It or Break It series, where we just buy a car from out of state. We don't really know much about it. We... I basically buy it based on a couple of pictures and we bring some tools, get it running, drive it home. The next installment of that series is coming up in the next week or so. I've already purchased the vehicle and I'm actually going to give you guys some hints to try to figure out what vehicle it is that we are going to pick up and drive home. I'm going to give you some hints and you got to leave your guesses in the bottom of this video inside the actual comment section. Whoever is the closest will win a t-shirt package from us. Uh, you get whatever size you want and some stickers. So leave your comments below. I'm going to give you the hints in just a second. Before I give you guys those hints, I just want to go over a couple of, uh, I guess, statistics that I think are pretty crazy from this channel over the last three years of producing content for you guys. In the last 300 videos, we have showcased over 100 vehicles. We've been to 45 states and we have traveled over 300,000 miles in three years showing different places where we've been content racetracks that we've raced at uh, we've done cruises all sorts of things like that's a ton of places ton of miles ton of vehicles for you guys to see and with that being said what's your favorite video series i know that by the numbers the make it or break it seems to be the most popular do you like our racing do you like the enduro stuff do you like the four cylinders do you like when we do our family trips do you like the food reviews what is it that you enjoy Tell us so over the next 2,000 subscribers we can show you guys what you actually want to see. Uh, or if you just kind of like the mix of what we've been doing, we're obviously going to keep doing that. It's just that I'll put more time and effort into whatever videos are actually what people want to see. So tell us below. All right, guys, how we're going to do this is in your comments, leave the year, make, model, engine, transmission style, and color. Which, I mean, if you don't do all that, whatever, but if we have two that are close, whoever leaves the most detail is going to win. So, what did we buy? This particular vehicle is something that is a, kind of a cult classic, even though it was the third best selling in its class, it's actually the worst selling in its class. I <laughs> uh, rarely sold over 100,000 units at any time during its production, uh, through this generation anyway. The vehicle series was actually founded in 1960 and ran through 1993, however, its nameplate was actually developed in 1981 for a name that we actually still use today for most of these vehicles. Came with a few engine options over the years, but from 1981 through 1993, the years that we're mainly talking about, you had one inline six, one V6, two V8 options, and one diesel inline six option. The company was the first to actually start doing trick or performance versions of these vehicles way back in the late 70s with nameplates that are still used on the high-end appearance packages on the vehicles sold today. Unfortunately, the one that we purchased uh, was new enough that the, those nameplates are no longer being used. The only one you could get was called Prospector Trim, uh, and ours is not. Ours is a custom. So anyways, with that information, put together your guesses, put it below, and we'll see you in the next video released in the next week or so. We will announce the winner in the beginning of that video. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you for 2,000 subscribers. We could not do it without you. Comment, like, subscribe.